Hello my dear students welcome back today we will start with the new lesson that of geography that is lesson number 2 inside our earth students you have studied about the earth in class 3 and also you have studied about the major domains of the earth major landforms of the earth in class 6 but students have you ever thought of how these landforms are formed why do we have the major domains of the earth so children today in this lesson we are going to study about the earth in detail and also about the interior of the earth now students earth our home is a dynamic planet it is a dynamic planet why because it is the only planet which supports the life and also earth is constantly undergoing the changes inside and outside have you ever wonder children what is there in the interior of the earth what is earth made up of so let us study about the structure of the earth but before studying the structure of the earth we have to study about the formation of the earth it was 4.5 billion years ago children the earth was then nothing like as it is today the earth started off as a round ball of molten homogeneous material revolving around the sun as the liquid slowly cooled down the denser material which formed the earth solidified and sank to the center of the earth where they formed the metallic core and at the same time the lighter less dense material were pushed towards the surface where they formed the earth crust and this led to the formation of the earth with the different layers just like a onion on one another when we cut the onion we see the different layers on one another same way our earth was also formed with the different layers on one another the topmost layer is called the crust the layer below the crust is the mantle and below the mantle we have the core so children one by one we will study about the different layers in detail so now let us first talk about the crust crust is the topmost layer and the thinnest layer of the earth when we talk about the crust crust is classified into two parts oceanic crust and continental crust oceanic crust is the crust which is below the ocean and it is 5 km thick and continental crust on the other hand is 35 km of thickness now children when we talk about the continental crust it is made up of two minerals silica and alumina the combination of these two mineral is called cyan and on the other hand oceanic crust is made up of two minerals silica and magnesium the combination of these two is called sima now now let us talk about the second layer that is mantle which is just below the crust and it is 2900 km below the crust the temperature and the pressure within the mantle are high and because of the temperature and the pressure the material within the mantle becomes very viscous that even though they are in the liquid form they does not flow freely now children this is about the mantle now let us talk about the third layer of the earth that is the core now when we finally go deep inside we will reach up to the core so again the core we have two parts the outer core and the inner core the outer core is the layer which is below the crust and it is made up of iron and nickel together it is called nifa now children the pressure the temperature and the pressure in the inner core are very high they reach up to 5000 to 6000 degree celsius and because of this pressure the material in the inner core gets solidified so we have studied about the three layers of the earth but today this much is enough and next the next lecture i will come with the next topic that is rocks and minerals thank you